Hey, hey, hey. I hope you all are having a good night, a good morning, wherever you are in the world today. Um, So God had me to come on tonight because um, there is a great sword. We're in the midst of a great sword that is 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 set out by the hand of God. And um, some of us, you know, we are going to be in the in the middle of the sword but because we are his you know we will only he promises to only um punish us um due to the 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 things that we do so the the sins that we are committing we shall reap punishment for those sins until you know we repent and turn away from them but the sword he promises that the sword will not destroy us um it says he gave me verse um chapter jeremiah chapter 31 verse 1 that says at that at the time, at the same time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel and they shall be my people, thus says the Lord. And it goes on in verse two to say, the people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness, Israel, when I went to give him rest. So it looks like things are chaotic. It looks like things are going crazy, but God is working things out for our good. He also gave me um, Jeremiah chapter 30. Um, I believe it's verse 11. Okay, yeah, it is. So it's Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 11. It says, though I completely destroy all the nations among which I scatter you. I will not completely destroy you. I will discipline you, but only with justice. I will not let you go entirely unpunished. So the only way that you're going to end up feeling a, a, a partial slither of the sword that God is issuing out at this time is if you are mingling in with the world. It's like God is constantly giving his people uh, chances to come out from among them and be separated. Uh, it is not God's will to destroy you. Uh, God is certainly going to issue you with great things in this time. And, you know, the, 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 the great part about that is it causes us to be able to look on the inside of ourselves and 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 begin to open up open up our hearts to see the love that god has and once you get to that point to where you're reaping you know the benefits of being in him and walking in that right direction it begins to cause your heart to fall into a place of repentance and even sometimes just just crying out because you know no matter what you've done, you know, God's hand has still been with you. Um, it it disciplines you. Yes, you, you're going to be disciplined because you are his, but it's not there to destroy you. You know, there, there it's like it's it's discipline, but you begin to see the heart of God in going through some of these things as you begin to come out. And, and, and once you see his heart, it, it makes you fall into a place of repentance. You know, if you have not gotten to that place yet, uh, you're coming into that time where you're going to start seeing that place. And, and from my personal experience, it is a beautiful place to be because you begin to see God in another way. And you understand when people say, you know, why does God love us in the way that he loves us, even though we've done wrong you know his love for us is so strong you know he does not issue to us what we truly deserve you know he truly 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 has a, a heart of gold when it comes to us you all so um there is a sword going out in this time if you find yourself mingling in with the things of the world, begin to repent and turn away from it. There will be discipline, 
but God promises only in due measure. And once his anger is over towards that, he is going to relinquish unto you what he has for you. Uh, some of you are all coming into the promise uh, in this time as well. Uh, your, um, your obedience is beginning to reap benefits. So trust God, stand on his word and receive it. So that's Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 1 and 2. And there is Jeremiah uh, chapter 30, verse 11. So these are the things that God has given me so far. You all be blessed and have a good night. See you all next time.